Hey guys, welcome to another uh, how-to video on Sworn Gaming. Today we're going to show you uh, the method we use for feeding and uh, raising baby Reaper Kings. So <clears throat> the first time we tried to raise one, we had it in a big room and uh, it was birthed. We did have the pheromones on, but uh, you know we're scrambling around trying to click on it, trying to force feed it meat. Uh, it was biting us and uh, needless to say it died very quickly so some different mechanics that we have since learned about is that uh, number one um, every time a baby reaper, reaper, reaper king attacks a target be it a, a wild dino or a player it uh, uses like 200 400 food something ridiculous so it's going to starve quickly and start going into its food if uh or its health if you don't uh have food in its inventory and, and possibly even force feeding it so um two things we've kind of done to get around that first of all um we always birth it in a small little chamber that's basically two blocks um two foundations long uh one wide and two tall uh with the door on both sides i guess that's probably not necessary but uh, makes it so that people can look through through both sides with glass doors which is kind of fun and then you can enter it later um, on the side that the Reaper King's not sitting at but then the second piece is uh, really how we feed it which is made raising them really pretty easy and that is that if you uh, have a full inventory when you birth the Reaper King and uh, have pheromones on and let them expire uh, shortly after its birth the uh, Reaper King will turn around and it will kill you and uh, when it does kill you there's a mechanic in Ark that if a tame dino kills its uh, owner it will actually pick up its inventory and so what happens there is the baby Reaper King actually uh, picks up all the meat in your inventory and uh, if you have enough in there and we usually keep like a full tech troughs for tech troughs worth um, that will be enough to get it all the way out of baby phase and then it will start eating on your troughs or tech troughs that you have outside so um, yeah in this video we'll kind of demonstrate that the uh, pheromones are not completely necessary when it's born you can let it birth out and quickly click on it I've had an issue with it killing me before I got a chance to claim it so um, I think it is advisable to go ahead and wear pheromones but um, yeah check it out and uh, please leave us any questions if you have any Thanks for watching. All right, so for this trick to work, what you want to do is fill your inventory full of meat. Come on into the brushing chamber. And uh, when the baby eats you, it's going to auto collect all of your inventory open for a color here it's kind of looking kind of standard to me hard to say though might be gray don't think so. Let's check the stats on it. 314, 13, so pretty decent melee on this one. So that underside definitely looks to be a little different color with the gray, but not not really a strong event color one. Uh, but that gray again might not be something that is uh, available normally. I don't know say that I've seen it. Uh, I would have liked a black and white, but uh, I am real happy with that 314 roll. I think that's going to be good enough to this guy be pretty strong. As soon as these pheromones wear off, he's going to eat me and he's going to pick up all this inventory then I really won't have to touch him again until uh, he reaches, uh, actually, until the first imprint, and I'll need to pull him out. Right. We're gonna just hop in there right after that and go check his inventory, just make sure that the transfer happened indeed. Make sure he's got, uh, food because every time they do bite you it does do damage to um, 
It uses up their hunger, rather, sorry. I guess we might grab our clothes as well. I don't know. Maybe that uh, maybe that is mutated black. It's hard to say, honestly. Um, I have too much frame of reference. I haven't done that many non-event reapers, truthfully. But uh, yeah, check out his inventory. You see, it's uh, full of meat. So he's uh, not going to need any more care until he's uh, basically an adult. Thanks guys for checking out the video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, we hope you'll uh, leave a comment and uh, hope you'll also check out some of the other videos we have. Thanks and have a great day.